In some of your interviews, you've mentioned one of your influences was Warhol. Uh, could you maybe e explain some of that or, or mention some other people that have influenced you? And you're talking, and this is about your graffiti writing? Yeah. Well, when I was growing up, I've always been a, a fan of art and, and I've been going to museums since I was a kid in school. So coming up, Warhol was always one of my idols because he just had a non-traditional sensibility in terms of the, the making of his work. And the same thing with Roy Lichtenstein and you know, Jasper Johns to some degree as well. I mean, that wasn't you know, the, the traditional art that I grew up looking at. So even by the 80s, the work that was done in the 60s still seemed new and fresh and interesting to me. So those are people that I looked up to. And Coincidentally, it, it, it didn't hurt that they were all downtown fixtures in New York City. And so actually getting to hang out with Andy Warhol in person and talk to him about what it was like making work back then was really cool. And it was inspiring because, you know, I'm a kid, I'm like 19, I'm 20, and I'm thinking about what it means to be a professional artist. And all of a sudden, I'm talking to Andy Warhol. And you know, he was iconic even then. So it was really fascinating. And that's something that, you know, to this day, I still kind of cherish because all those guys are gone now.